Good evening, how you doing? My name is Joseph Googie. I am one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind, uh, where we help pre-physical therapy students get into PT school without wasting time or money. Uh, this is the first time you're listening to one of our live streams. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Pre-PT Grind family, the Pre-PT Grind community. Uh, we are glad to have you here. Uh, we're here to make sure that your journey to PT school um, is absolutely amazing. Adam, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, man, like th t tonight's live stream um, changed a little bit. Um, I, I was not going to talk on this topic until a conversation I had earlier today with uh, with one of my good buddies, um, Javier Carlin, uh, he's a physical therapist, works at um, the clinic where I'm a clinic director at. And so and so we were talking and everything just kind of started racing. I was like, all right, tonight, this is what we have to talk about. So uh, if you have friends, if you have anyone that you have inside of the pre-doctor physical therapy students page, if you know anybody that should be here that needs to listen to the topic that we're about to have right now, uh, please find them, please tag them. If you know anybody in this group, tag them in the video below, make sure that they don't miss out on this, on this conversation as a whole, because we're gonna, we're gonna chat a little bit. We're gonna chat a little bit. And, th and this is gonna be one where um, we're talking about a topic that I did not fully understand, that I did not fully comprehend um, until later on in my journey. Actually, I understood it later on, um, like, about my last year in PT school, and I'm still learning it. Uh, but, but after we talk about it tonight, I think you'll understand a little bit about where I'm coming from, but also why this is so relevant to you as pre-PTs. And so uh, to all our winners that are joining us, Kate, uh, Karen, Shanahan, Lonnie, uh, we have Aya, how y'all doing? Good to see you. Uh, Shanahan, I see you're still sliding in quick, bro. Uh, you're showing up fast. Um, so, so Shanahan, for those of y'all that don't know, Shanahan is usually like one of the top three that shows up to every live stream. We have no idea how he does it so fast. We don't know if he just has his phone attached to his hip. Who knows? Sarah, how you doing? Good to see you. Tonight's topic. Tonight's topic. Let's, let's get a little serious. Let's get a little serious. And then we'll have some fun. Um, let's kind of reel it back. What's what's one of the reasons? What's one of the reasons why? Like, tell me below. Like, what are the reasons why you all chose to become uh, physical therapists? Let's have a conversation tonight, because because that that will allow us to dive into what I'm about to share with you tonight. What are the reasons, Aya, Sarah? Like, what are the reasons that caught, like that led you to choosing PT? You don't have to give me a paragraph. Give me like one-liners. Whether it's family, whether it's time, whether it's um, injury, like just, just, just give me quick one-liners. Let me, let me see why you chose physical therapy, because this is going to apply heavily to what we're going to talk about today. Because I, I don't believe that mo like, honestly, most pre-physical therapy students that I have interacted with have, 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 have been pretty clear about why they wanted to be PTs. Um, and, and that leads to the conversation that we're about to have because, because one, so time freedom and me finally finding my purpose. So, so it sounds like you found your purpose in physical therapy. Good. Um, and then Shanahan just had a new baby. Uh, Casey, what's up, brother? How you doing? Um, and so, so what are your reasons for why you chose physical therapy? Why, why, why now? Why, why PT? Why this profession? I, I also fully understand that there are some people in this group that, that, that are still trying to figure out if PT is the career path they want to go on. They're not sure. Uh, Daniel says, applying knowledge of the human body and using it to help others. I love it. I love it. But the honest truth is, the honest truth is, most of you know in some way, shape, or form why you want to be physical therapists. But there's still one main mistake that we're all led to make as pre-PTs that's holding us back from really, honestly, like getting across the finish line, which is what most of you want. Most of you right now, there are, there, there are really two different camps. No, three different camps. There's the camp of students that are still not sure. Like they're just trying to figure out which career path they want to go on. So, so they're here and they're like, yo, PT sounds cool. Let's try it. We have the camp of those that are like, I'm pretty sure physical therapy is it. I'm still just trying to put things together. I'm, I'm trying to understand the details about what's going on. Like, what does it mean to be a pre-PT? How, how does even getting into PT school work? And then we have the camp of those that are just locked in. They're like, yo, this is it. This is what I want to do. Those are the ones that are applying this cycle. Those are the ones that 
are on a trajectory where they're like, yo, I'm doing whatever I have to do to get in. Those are the ones that are retaking classes. We have non-traditional students that are going back and taking classes as well. But why did you choose physical therapy? Let me know in the comments below, like why physical therapy? What's up, Javi? How you doing, brother? So Javi and I had a conversation today and we were kind of reflect like this past year has been a very big year of growth for me. Um, and, and yo, hi, th thanks for the love, bro. Like it's been a very big year of growth for me. Um, I, I have honestly having this online platform where uh, over 2018 was when we grew the most with pre-PT grind, um, really getting comfortable with being a leader in the clinic, being a clinic director, uh, getting engaged, you know, in 2018, I'm getting married this year. Let's go. Shan Hansen is also the ability to own something for myself and my family. You got it, brother. You got it. And so, so, so one of the main things that I learned though, was that I, for a long time was very concerned with, with, with what other people around me were doing as I, like, so, so, so you put it this way. When we first started pre-PT grind, I had this internal fear that, um, that pre-PTs would not see the value in this, that the pre-PTs would not see the value in, in what we're doing. But, but, but as, as it's built up, obviously y'all are here. So, so you see the value in investing time into yourself and, 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 and growing yourselves as a pre-PT. And, and as the year has grown, I've also realized that this cannot be a platform that just like gives you a few like pointers on the GRE, a few pointers on, you know, the, the application process. We have to help y'all get in, like just get into physical therapy school. And, and that requires understanding that you're all at different places. You're all different. I love to help people to feel uh, and live better. I love it. I love it. And, and really understanding that every pre-PT is in different places. Every pre-PT is, is, is coming from a different background. Casey, Casey came from, uh, you know, a pre-pharmacy background. And, and, and so when he became a pre-PT, he was coming from a very different like place than I was. I, I really came in my freshman year locked in on physical therapy. We have some students that, that have gone down a completely different career path and, and have spent five, maybe 10, 15 years in that career path and have decided, yo, I actually want to come back and do physical therapy. Like I've fallen in love with the profession. Sarah says, time and family. I have a passion to help people I need and learn all about, oh, perfect, perfect. Learning all about the body. But here's one thing that I started noticing. As we were taking care of pre-PTs, I started noticing that the underlying message with, with, with being a pre-PT, and correct me if I'm wrong, the underlying message with being a pre-PT is like, I, I myself need to get into PT school, which means that I need to stand out outside of everybody else. And we preach that, don't get me wrong. And I need you to stay with me tonight. Like, don't get me wrong. Like we preach that you want to stand out as an applicant. But I think sometimes we confuse that, we confuse standing out as an applicant with belittling everyone else around us. And so what I mean by that is, is there's something called the abundance mindset. And, and, and like, well, which the abundance mindset pretty much embraces the concept that, that everybody can win, everybody can get in. But then you ask yourself, like Joseph, like how's that even possible? How can, how can, how can every pre-PT get in? Each school, Joseph, each school has a cap on how many students they can accept. Each school has, like, I told you recently that, 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 that there was a school where, where one of our accepted system students applied to and they had 1,600 applicants and they only took 100. So, so, so you have to ask yourself, as a pre-PT, we're almost called to be competitive. We're called to be competitive. However, that's the very thing that's actually holding us back from being accepted. Here's why. Being competitive is fantastic. Like I'm a very competitive person, but a lot of times when we get competitive, like if you're anything like me, if you're anything like me, when you get real competitive, you zero in, you say everybody else is competition, everybody else is against me, which means that I have to go about this by myself. Does that make sense? For those of y'all that understand basketball, I'm a big Kobe fan, but Kobe was a pretty good explanation of that. Like when, when, when Kobe felt like he was the best man and when he was competitive, he wouldn't really like pass to his teammates. He would focus on himself. But as pre-PTs, we make the mistake of doing just that. 
The biggest lie that we tell ourselves as pre-PTs is that because we have to be competitive, because we have to stand out, because we have to be the one that gets accepted, we have to pretty much make sure that everybody else in our way has to pretty much be obliterated. In other words, for me to stand out, I have to like, and it's a huge mistake because what ends up happening, and I remember when I was a pre-PT, this was happening on our program. Like students were looking at each other's grades. They're like, hmm, okay. So my classmates have lower grades than I do. Okay, I should be good. My classmates don't have as many observation hours as me. I should be good. But what ends up happening is as a pre-PT, in the process of being so competitive, and don't get me wrong, like being competitive is great. Like I think it adds an extra edge. I think it adds an extra, you know, element of focus. And, and, and you know, like, it just like, I love competition, sports and everything. But as a pre-PT, it becomes very dangerous when you start telling yourself that it's you against the world. When you start telling yourself that it's me against everybody else. So, Here's what happened, you know, not too long ago. There was a time when, 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 when I, you know, I had a conversation with a pre-PT, um, uh, you know, regarding, you know, some interview advice that they were getting. And I was like, feel free to share this with, with other people. And I realized later on that they never shared it with anybody because they felt like that was their edge. Do you sometimes feel like this is your edge? If you're following the pre-PT grind, do you sometimes feel like this is your edge? Do you feel like, you know what? I landed on this gold mine of these two guys that are just going to take care of pre-PTs that are just going to, you know, serve pre-physical therapy students. You know what I mean? Like, so, so I'm just going to make sure my classmates don't find out about this because if I know it, then I have a higher chance of getting in. But the honest truth is we have to embrace something called like something called the abundance mindset. What most pre-PTs do what most what most pre PTs have embraced is a scarcity mindset. I need y'all to comment scarcity mindset. Comment scarcity mindset, and it might not be you, but most pre PTs have. And it's the idea that because I have to be competitive, I have to make sure that I stand out in a way that obliterates everybody else. I have to make sure that any kind of edge I receive, I cannot give it out. Like the more I give it out, the more bland my application looks. But one thing that I've learned over this past year, and this is why I was saying like Javi and I were talking about this, is that the abundance mindset is one of the most beautiful concepts ever. It says that at some point, like, everybody has a chance to win. The, the honest truth is your reason for getting into physical therapy school might not be the same thing as my reason. My reason is not the same thing as Casey's reason. It's, Casey's reason. It's not the same thing as Ayer's reason. It's not the same reason as uh, like Sarah's reason. Like everybody has a different reason for why they got into physical therapy school. But I honestly believe that if you are a pre-physical therapy student and you have a strong why, a strong reason for getting into PT, you have the work ethic. You're willing to put in the work, AKA pre-PT grind. Like you're, you're willing to put in the work, but you're also like ridiculously coachable. You literally have the trifecta that can lock you into any physical, uh, to the perfect PT program for you. I've seen it because I have seen over this past year, students that have come from lower GPAs than I thought imaginable when we started serving pre-PTs back when I was in college. I've seen pre-PTs that have distanced themselves from school so long that I was wondering, man, is it even gonna be, like, there were times where before pre-PT grind, like I would ask myself, like, it, I mean, like, is that even possible? And you have to understand. You, you have to understand that, that, that most of us have been so used to seeing everybody else. Like, sorry, repeat that one time, please. So most of us have been, have been so, so acclimated to, like so acclimated to making sure that, that our application is so, locked in i mean i don't even know what i said daniel I'm, I'm just talking like straight out of my head bro but 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 the bottom line is and i'm sure i'll refer back to it like when i'm going back but the honest truth is as students as students we end up isolating ourselves from the people that are going to end up propelling us through this journey a lot of those students a lot of those people you're gonna find right here in this live stream right now, there are other pre-PTs that might be in the same, like in the exact same place you are in your journey at this moment. 
there are pre-PTs like watching this live stream right now that may be a year ahead of where you are right now. There are pre-PTs right now that are behind where you are right now. You have a community right here where we have 3.6 thousand people in this community. And most people don't take advantage of the fact that we have this. We have this. We're so occupied with, with how can I stand out that we're so like limited by, by not wanting to take care of other people. Understanding that the way life works is that the more we do that, the more we grow. The more we embrace mentorship, the more we embrace everything else that comes with it. The, the, the reason why that the students that you've been seeing from the accepted system have been locking themselves into PT school is that they figured out, they literally figured it out. They were like, okay, we need our non-traditional mentorship. We need our non-traditional coaching, but we also need the right people around us that are willing to invest in us and us in them. It's one of the most beautiful things you can imagine. It's one of the most beautiful things you can imagine. But as a pre-physical therapy student, when we isolate ourselves from everybody else, we're setting ourselves up for failure as applicants. Now, can you still get in? Yeah. But long-term, does that take you far? No. I remember when Casey got into PT school. When Casey got accepted into physical therapy school, um, it, it, he was in the class behind mine. Um, I, like my, like I was the class president for my class. And so, uh, we went over to their class to try to give them as, I mean, we, we'd only been a year into PT school. So, psh, I mean, like, what did we know? But one thing we had figured out was that the moments that we tried to play like isolation ball, like the moments that we tried to do our own work and not work together were the hardest, like the hardest semesters, the hardest exams, the hardest assignments even in physical therapy school. We had been trained, we had been so hardwired to be us against the world. We had been so hardwired to be ultra competitive to the point where we didn't even know how to work with each other in physical therapy school. So we told Casey's class, the first thing y'all need to figure out right now, and they did a phenomenal job of it. The first thing y'all need to figure out right now is you guys have to figure out like that you guys have gotten into PT school. You have gotten into PT school, so all you have to do is get out of this program together, which means that you have to stop being like anti each other. So figure out how to help each other. Figure out how to take care of each other. Does that make sense? And so as pre-PTs right now, what I need you guys as we start 2019 is to understand that there are so many avenues right here in this group, in this community that you can utilize and run with and grow with as a pre-physical therapy student that would take you so, I mean, the destination to your acceptance would be accelerated. It would be accelerated, Jakari, because you're learning from other people's experiences. You're learning from other people's struggles. There are certain things that I'm never going to understand about the pre-PT journey because I did not go through certain things. There are also certain things that I do understand because of what I went through. I've had pre-PT students like come to me with, with certain issues and I'm like, yo, like someone you should speak to is not even myself or Casey. I'll send them to one of our students from the acceptance. I'm like, yo, they went through the exact same journey. And so as a pre-PT this year, competition is beautiful. Competition is absolutely beautiful. But understand that you need, you need an acceptance community. You need a network of other winners in this game right now, pre-PT game, whether that's non-traditional coaching, whether that's other pre-PTs that are going through exactly what you're going through, you're going to need that right now if you actually want to stand out. It's, it's almost backwards how it works now. It's almost backwards because we, we naturally feel like the more isolated we are, the better chance we have to stand out. But the honest truth is, we actually end up like shortcutting our ability to actually stand out more. We shortcut our ability to learn from other people's mistakes. If someone's been rejected two times or three times and then got in, there's a lot you can learn from them. If someone had a low GPA, like Ben Kim, like I know after Ben Kim did his live stream, he had at least 10 students reach out to him. Brilliant. Do it. Do it. But right now, going into this year, stop playing isolation ball. Stop playing isolation ball. Stop. Stop feeling like you have to protect anyone in here with a wife and child already going through the process. A little daunting at times. Oh. Ryan, you need to talk to Shanahan. So Shanahan, talk to Ryan. A team is so important. You are the sum of the five people you are around. Exactly. Exactly.
So tonight, I want everybody in here to have an abundance mindset. And that abundance mindset, believe it or not, is going to be one of the biggest steps towards your acceptance because nobody else is doing it. Just because I'm saying it right now, it does not mean that all the thousands of other pre-PTs who are, you know, in different parts of the country are going to do this. Like y'all are learning this right now. Like, so, so utilize each other, utilize each other because the journey right now to PT school has its ups and downs. It's hard at times. It's great at times. When things go well, it's amazing. When things are hard, it's hard. Like when students, like it breaks my heart, man, it breaks my heart when I'm seeing students like pull out of the game when like just after getting like just after getting rejected the first time it's it's a painful journey to have to go through that it's a painful process to have to get rejected from pt school but honestly like it breaks my heart because i know that there's somebody else that has done it there there's somebody else that i know personally like when, when, like that's why i do my best I do my best to just network people. I'm like, yo, like you got to talk to this person. You got to talk to this person because as pre-PTs, we have to understand that we need each other. We need, we need other pre-PT winners. Make sure your why is so strong. It pushes you every day, everything that you do. We need others to get to where we want to go exactly. So I'll leave you with a few things. I'll leave you with a few things. And then honestly, I have a live training for you guys to watch starting right now. And so if you guys see in the comment above, if you guys, if you guys write that in the comments below, I'll make sure that you're tagged in the live training. But, but honestly, I need you to understand one thing. I need you to understand that one, the people you have around you are going to define every bit of your journey. The students that have tried on their own and have tried over and over and over and over, like, I mean, like, how can you know what else to do if you have not seen what other people have done or you have not seen what other people have done? How can you know what else to do if you have not been, been directed by somebody who understands how to get to where you want to go or somebody that has already gotten to where you want to go. If all we're doing is saying, I got to play this game by myself. I got to make sure that I'm just staying with my laptop, looking at the school websites. All I got to do is talk to my academic advisor. All I have to do is talk to my family, all the people that really have no idea what I'm going through. Well, that's how pre-PTs are, are getting really low in this process. And I'm saying this, I'm not saying this to be harsh. I'm saying this because I've gotten on too many pre-PT calls over the last few days. So I just want you guys to understand that there is a way out. There, there is a way out and it's gonna require not, like not isolating yourself. It's gonna require not doing it by yourself. It's gonna require you finding somebody who has already done it. Honestly, we've done it. We've done it. And so even in our community, we have that. Even in our mentorship, we have that. But even in this group right here, the pre-doctor of physical therapy students group, you have access to that. So take advantage of it. If this is your year, if you want it, like, like, like what Shanahan was saying about having a strong why, if this is your year to lock into physical therapy school, then you have to be willing to do everything it takes. You have to be willing to do everything it takes. I, like for example, Shanahan is, uh, you know, just, j just had an amazing blessing happen to his family recently. And I saw his fire just like step it up. Honestly, it was right before the, you know, the amazing thing happened. Shanahan, I don't know if you want me to tell them, but, but, but right before, like I saw this fire in Shanahan, he was like, yo, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing it for my kid. I'm doing it for like, because it's beyond us, but we have to be willing to do whatever it takes. But you cannot do that on your own. You cannot do that flying solo. You cannot do that on like based on based on what you're seeing other people do. You can't spend this year just saying, OK, when is everyone applying? Let me just do that. You, you can't spend this year saying, well, my GRE could get better. Let me try that. I have a few grades that I can improve. Let me try that. All you're doing is guessing. Are those good things? Yes. But are they the best things for you to do? Well, you're, you're not really going to know until you find other people that can help you through that. So once you can embrace that, then I want you to look at the comment above and I want you to like just what I've written above. I don't even remember what I wrote, but 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 for that three video training, you're going to get access to all three videos right now. I'm going to send you a message of it to just look, look in the description above and I want you to comment it below. I want you to comment it below so that I may, so that we can take care of you, because this year we're not we're not leaving any stone unturned this year any stone unturned we're coming like like we're we're coming for those pt schools 
and we're taking as many winning pre-PTs with us as possible who are ready and willing, La Shanahan and many other winners, who are ready and willing to do whatever they have to do to lock themselves into the profession that they love. And not ready, like not having to give in to a lot of the doubts. Exactly, blueprint. That's what I wrote. Oh, shoot. Like blueprint. So comment blueprint if you want access to it. Comment blueprint if you want access to the training, the three video training. You're going to get access to all of it right now. It's already set up for you. Comment blueprint. And then at the very end of it, we actually have a gift for you. A gift for you that's actually worth about $75. So take full advantage of it. But the honest truth is that's it. We have to have an abundance mindset. We have to. And as pre-PTs this year, that's the only way we're going to destroy it. As pre-PTs this year, that's the only way we're going to kill it. As pre-PTs this year, that's the only way we're going to lock into physical therapy school and make sure that you have everything you need to lock into a program. You have everything you need to serve your family. For me, it was time. For me, it was getting into a profession that would allow me to take care of my future kids. I'm getting married this year. There's a lot more on the line for all of us. That's why I started the beginning of this live stream with asking, why physical therapy? Why did you choose physical therapy? Because if at any point this year you find yourself trying to fly solo, if at any point this year you, 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 you find yourself saying, you know what, let me just guess and see what happens. If at any point this year you find yourself having to look over your shoulder and, and saying, you know what, like, let me embrace the scarcity mindset. Who wants to do that? Like, but, but, but let, me, let me embrace the scarcity mindset and just like avoid, avoid interacting with other pre-PTs because I want to stand out. I want to stand out. I want to hoard it to myself. If that's how you're going to think, well, honestly, that usually leads to a losing battle. But if you're ready to embrace the abundance mindset, if you're ready to say, I'm going to do whatever I got to do. If you're, ready, if you're ready to say, yo, I want to stand out. I want to stand out as an applicant, not because I'm doing it alone, but because I have connected myself to the strongest network possible, to the strongest network of pre-PT winners, to the strongest network of coaches, to the strongest network in the profession right now to lock myself into physical therapy school. I need you to comment blueprint. If that is you, I need you to comment blueprint. And then I also want you to comment, honestly tag one to two other pre-PTs in here. If we're gonna embrace the abundance mindset, let's help everybody else out. Y'all are already standing out in the country. This group right now represents a fraction of the amount of pre-PTs that exist in the United States. There are also some pre-PTs in here that are from outside the States. But the honest truth is, you all can have a year, a year, a year where you're not having to waste time, a year where you're not having to waste money, a year where you're not having to guess, a year where you're not having to apply and say, well, let's see what happens. A year where you can apply knowing that everything you could have possibly done, you did. A year where you lock yourself into the program of your dreams. This is not, this is not a game. This is not a game. This is your reality and I love it because I already got there. Casey loves it because we already got there. We are physical therapists and we want you to feel exactly what we're feeling. But the only way it happens, the only way it happens is by taking the step and saying, I'm willing and ready to just like to remove myself from the negativity that's attached to just isolating myself. Because all that is, is just a sign of fear. All that is a sign of fear that either, either I am going to like find all these people that, that will just kind of make me look bland or, or I don't know what the fear is. Like all the fears are different, but, but the reason why we do it is because of fear. But if you're saying, yo, I want to do this the way that all the other winners have been doing it. Every other winner, that, what's up, Jessica? How you doing, fam? Like all the other winners that have been coming on every single Wednesday night for a live stream, you know, when they show up and they talk about being in the accepted system, talking about being having low GPAs, talk about, you know, you know, having, you know, like, like Ariana being several years, several years of applying to PT school and then say, I don't know what else to do. Ariana got to the point where she was like, I don't know what else to do. Joseph, like she got on the phone with me. She's like, Joseph, I really have no idea what to do. I, I worked my tail off to get into PT school. I worked my tail off, especially the second time around. And I still didn't get in. What do I need to do? Blueprint. Blueprint. This year is your year. This year is not, I'm just going to preface it right now. This year, we're not going to be doing a lot of fluff talk. This year, we're making sure that you're equipped with everything you need to lock yourself into PT school, not just because we're encouraging you and motivate, you know, and I mean, come on, like, 
I can motivate and get hype all day long, but it's making sure that you are starting to take action towards what you actually want. And once you do that, beautiful things happen. Because like I said at the very beginning, the reason you chose physical therapy, the reason why you want to become a physical therapist, the reason that draws you to this every single day, that's, that's why we have to do it. That's why we have to do it. Call to action, guys. Let's get it. Shanahan, you already know. So everybody in here, comment blueprints. I'll make sure that within the next hour, you guys are already starting to get messages from me with links to that blueprint. Let's tear this up. Tag as many, tag one to two people. Let's not overwhelm ourselves. Tag one to two other pre-PTs in this video right now. One to two other pre-PTs that you know in this group. Tag them in this video right now. Let's embrace the abundance mindset. But this year together, let's lock you into a physical therapy program. Honestly, as part of our accepted community, Shanahan already knows he's in the accepted system. In the accepted system, we call them the 12K nation. We call them the 12K Nation because roughly 12,000 students are accepted into PT school every single year. So what we do is we say, yo, because you have said that you're willing to do everything it takes, you have put yourself around the best in the game. You have put yourself around non-traditional coaching. You've put yourself around the, 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 the most locked in pre-PTs we have seen. Well, you are now saying that even before I get accepted into PT school, I have already accepted that I am part of that number. I am part of that 12K. I'm part of that 12,000. So if you're willing to accept that, Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all have a good one. This is our year, guys. As pre-PTs, let's absolutely take over. Let's not, I mean, we'll have fun this year. But honestly, let's get real about making sure that we're doing everything in our power to lock you into physical therapy school. Let's get it. Comment blueprint. Tag two people. Y'all have a good evening. Bye.